Jacobson. Summer goes pretty fast, eh? Yeah, it does. It's crazy how fast it goes. Uh, what are you looking at there? Well, I'm looking at the student handbook that the kids have. What is it? Well, it has all the rules that the students need to follow and the, and the consequences that will occur if they don't follow them. Interesting. So what are some examples? Well, the big one that I think students need to know about is the cell phone policy. <laughs> they can only have cell phones out for instructional purposes. So texting, talking on the phone, checking their Facebook, that would be an issue. Huh, I wonder why. <laughs> Mr. Yen, I need to cut your hair. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. Hey guys, quiet down. Do your work. Read a book or something. Mr. Croslin. Mr. Jacobson is making fun of your hair. Oh, I wonder who that is. Oh, Mr. Yenna, I suggest that you read the teacher's handbook with regard to using your phone for text or any other purpose. These people. Hey guys, put yourself away. Oh, yeah. I guess that's kind of important. So what about policies on, like, PDA? Yeah, that's in there. Good. I've seen some stuff. Yuck. That is so gross. Ooh, yuck. Disgusting. Anyways. What else is in there? The attendance policy. Let's not forget that we are allowed to miss up to 14 days per semester per class without potentially losing credit for that class. It's very, very important. Um, this covers both excused and unexcused absences. What about students at a sport? Well, if you're at a sport, you're at school. If you're traveling to a sport, you're at school. But you have to really be careful because this year, according to the board policy, three tardies in a class is equivalent to one day of absence counting towards 14. So you want to make sure you don't get anywhere near 14. Now, there's certain circumstances that are excused, that also might be the 14. Some would, one would be uh, you're sick at home, you have a, it's extended, you need to have a doctor's excuse. In any case, your parent already has to inform the school as to why you were missing because if there's no note or no documented phone call, sometimes it's excused to me. So we have to be careful about that. Because unexcused absences can lead to truancy problems, which is another uh, rationale.